Hey, what's up guys? Beyond Fox here and welcome to the Snapshot 13W47C showing offage. Because now they are now showing off the one-click Twitch live streaming we will soon have. Uh, you can now get a hold of this and try it out yourself. This became way more awesome than I thought it was going to be. I thought you weren't going to have a lot of options with Twitch to mess around and adjust settings and everything else, but check it out. You can. As you guys know, Call of Duty and SimCity, things like that, have one-click Twitch streaming. But you can't really adjust many options, so I was blown away that I saw Dinnerbone and the team have been working on this. Well, first off, how do you get it? Well, go ahead and hit New Profile, and you want to create your new one that's being experimented with. So right now in the version selection, you click Enable Experimental Development Versions, aka Snapshots. And I don't know if you need it, but I go ahead and click use the latest version. Then there you go, save it, something, you know, clever like live stream test. And then from there, you can go ahead and get started. Boom, now that we are in game, all you have to do is hit escape and then options and then broadcast settings. Now, oh no, oh no. Unfortunately, my computer does not support the integrated Twitch broadcasting service. Reason no, that's not very helpful. Good thing I'm here to tell you exactly how to solve this. Now what you want to do is go to accounts.mojang.com and log in. Once you're logged in, you're going to see everything that you own when it comes to Mojang. So scrolls, cobalt, and all that jazz. Now you click view account settings and boom, you see connect to Twitch account. Once you click that, I'm actually already logged in right now, so just ask me to authorize it. Otherwise, you would have to put in all your information. And boom, you are now successfully connected, which is crazy cool. Now that I've restarted, go ahead and jump in whatever world you want. It can be, well, not a server, right? Not set yet because it's a snapshot. But here we go. Now we're in game and let's see how well this works. Go ahead and hit options and broadcast settings. And this is exactly what I was talking about with the options. I did not expect this at all. Now, DXTory, if you guys are familiar, is a streamer that you use. So you can go ahead and create windowed mode for anything from images to a webcam to all that. Uh, you can also make overlays or set frame rates or bit rates and everything else or compression. They are working on making something, you know, decently user friendly and good about that. So uh, they're pretty close because here we have a frame rate. We'll go ahead and turn it all the way up and see how well that does. A quality all the way up. Uh, bandwidth? Yeah, sure. Then you also have your independent mic volume, but you can't seem to set your mic yet, which one you want to pull from. And then also your system volume, so everything that is happening on your computer, essentially, if you want people to hear all that. Now, compression, this again is going to, I think, deal with your mic audio, not the actual video, but who knows? I like to put everything in high anyway. Now, this is one of the coolest things I most of all didn't expect was Twitch chat settings. You can actually see Twitch chat in game that could be an insanely good idea or a terrible idea if you have ever been in a twitch chat especially when people start seeing their own name so i'm gonna go ahead and leave that enabled and broadcast server listing this is even kind of crazier that you can actually pick a certain server of twitch that you want to use which i didn't know this was a thing so since i live by dallas i'm going to go ahead and hit preferred on that and then done so you guys get the best setting possible now this is very cool too, is another user feature if you guys do any twitching. that uh, Can we call that twitching? <laughs> uh, but you can set the chat to everything else to being just viewers or subscribers only. Uh, or just moderators being able to talk. So I'll leave it to all viewers and hit done. Now in controls you also have some additional settings. And all the way at the bottom we have streaming settings now. So you have pause, unpausing the stream, show stream commercials, which is kind of... Really, that was the most unexpected. I keep saying that, but I'm like, wait, now that's the most unexpected thing. But uh, yeah, so you can have it automatically go to commercials, which not all Twitch options have that, I don't believe. Uh, you have to be a partner. Oh, kind of interesting. Um, but actually, let's reset that to, uh, I don't know, let's do a test. Z. That would be terrible. Well, I'm playing, I don't think I press Z for anything. But uh, I'm going to get the one key. Sure. Uh, and start and shop the stream. Uh, we'll make F6. We'll make it now F1. Let's see how well this works. F1. Oh, wait. That also hides all your stuff, doesn't it? <laughs> That's a terrible idea. Okay. Okay. So funny enough, I just went to the stream. And this is actually what you're hearing. It's like a lot of chipmunks. Oh, and look. There we go. <laughs> that sounded so weird. <laughs> God, Xbox. Oh my God, I can't hear myself. I can't super loud. 
<laughs> That's awesome. So creepy. Okay, so I don't know if there's broadcasting settings for the mic. Or what the hell is going on. <laughs> that was awesome. I'm losing it. Okay, so anyway, so now you can see there's actually more people in chat, but it's showing you just the one person. Um, but yeah, so you actually see your people, like the number and everything up there. I think it's really cool. Uh, looking at it right now, it's actually a great frame rate. But the mic and everything is what you're hearing right now. I have it open in the other window. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. My ears burn. <laughs> Now let's see if, uh, now I suppose you can type and it will go in Twitch chat also. I'm gonna see if it types. Uh, I'm, I have a two second delay maybe, one second delay I think. But so that's not actually going in chat. Everybody's still hearing a robot though. <laughs> Which is crazy. I'm way more, I'm way more amused by that than I should be. So, uh, broadcast settings, I really, that's pretty much everything I can show you. Um, they're working on a lot of stuff. This is the very first, you know, alpha version of this snapshot with Twitch. But it's very cool that, uh, Mojang and Twitch are working together like this. That They just gave them all the code, essentially, it seems like, uh, to go ahead and poke around and play with this. I think this is so cool. Um, so what do you guys think with the settings and options that you have now? Do you think you're going to live stream more on Twitch? Go ahead and comment down below. Make sure to hit like also and it helps out and it gets the word out about this. I think it's really insanely cool. Uh, first time I heard about this, I think we all just rolled our eyes and we're like, oh God, there's going to be tons of people with horrible quality, everything going. But with these options, there's going to be a lot better quality stuff uh, going out on Twitch. And I think this is brilliant. Now I'm looking on stream and the quality is absolutely horrific. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me. I'm Bebop Vox. I hope you guys enjoyed. What do you guys think about the very first, you know, alpha test of this thing? I hope you thought it was pretty cool as much as I did. But anyway, make sure to comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Diamonds to you. And happy Minecrafting. Meow. <laughs>